Hi everyone and welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial. Now keep in mind throughout this tutorial I'll be using Photoshop CS3 Extended. I do have CS4 but I don't really care for it. There's a few bugs that Adobe needs to work out so if they can fix those bugs I'll be using CS4 but until then expect to see a lot more CS3. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you two different ways that you can remove this timestamp from your photo. Now in this photo it's going to be really easy but in your photos it's probably going to be harder. I'm just doing this for time's sake because I don't want to have you guys sit here for 20 minutes watching me remove it from a detailed photo. So the first thing we can do and probably the easier way is to select the clone stamp tool right here. Get a decent sized brush and set the mode to normal. Opacity and flow at 100% hold down alt from the area you want to copy from that little precision pointer pops up and just drag over the timestamp you may have to reselect your areas every so often just to switch away from the pattern that's up there and you can see it just removed that timestamp from the photo really easy shouldn't take more than a few minutes to do so that was our first way that we could remove our timestamp the second way is going to take longer but it's probably going to look better. We want to select the spot healing brush tool. This way will take more time like I said but it will come out a lot better. You just have to drag over the timestamp. You see it gets dark like that and it just disappears when you let go. It works really great. So just drag over each the numbers like that and it's all gone now I won't finish this because it will take quite a while but you can see you get the idea of what to do now in some photos you may have to use a mixture of both techniques the clone stamp and the spot healing brush tool if that's your case then do that it'll look really great as you can see the timestamp just disappears from the picture now like here you can see we still have some red spots there I don't know if you can see that if you're in HD you should be able to to fix that we can select our brush tool set the brush size to 35 and set the mode to hue select an area where you want the color to come from and just go over that you can see now it gets like a green color you guys may not be able to see this because you may not be watching on HD but next you want to select the mode to color just go right over that and you can see it looks perfect now it just blends right in with the pavement thanks for watching this video tutorial if you liked it please comment rate and subscribe